Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back. This is Civic Dude. And we're playing some Minecraft. Okay, so, let's see. The last time I saw you guys, and I know it's been a couple days. So I'll get to that. Life has been a little a little in the way lately, like it does. Anyways, last time we saw each other in the world of Minecraft, I think I was showing you the zombie spawner. The mob grinder system that we set up. Let me turn the music down, it's kind of loud. Actually, no, the sound's fine. We'll just turn the regular music down. There we go. Much better. Okay. So, we were working on setting up a mob system. And you can see here I did a little semi semi cool design, I think, that leads down to it. So now we have a little staircase takes us down to our mob grinder and it's just a zombie spawner that I've converted into a simple grind system so right now it's set to off because I've got the lights going but as soon as I want to do something with it turn the lights off and zombies spawn there we go y'all all remember how that works and then I just come down here and just Kill him as I will. Okay. So, I kind of just cleaned this up a little bit. You know, dug out around it. Put in some glass to make it look kind of kind of pretty. And I've still got, well, a lot more plans for this. Because I want to make this a much bigger area. You know, dig out some more of this, or this stone. And make this look even better. But that's not what we're going to talk about right now. For this episode. For this episode, I want to talk about the next project that we're going to work on. And it's uh, not a complicated project. I usually don't do too complicated of projects. But this one I want because it's becoming necessary. And what I'm talking about is I need a full-fledged tree farm with all the different types of trees. Up until now, I've only had the regular tree farm with the regular trees, the regular, I think it's oak trees. And that's worked out fine, you know, it's been over above my my original starting place on the mountain across next to me over here. And that's worked out great so far, but I need I need something else. I need I need more wood, different types of wood. And I don't know what has happened to Titan right here. You can see he's gray now. I guess maybe something happened whenever uh, I updated to 1.2.5. I don't know, but I might have to go, uh, I'll either find a new Titan, or I'll just, uh, we'll just say Titan's getting old and he's gone gray. Maybe that's what we'll say. So, you can see right here I've, uh, set up a temporary tree farm, just so that I can have, uh, wood close at hand to replenish my stock, because I am working on building a pathway here into a bridge right here that will then go off in this direction to more rooms but down this hall I want to have a couple things so these gaps right here are going to be where uh, other hallways branch off into either a, not just another room or another hallway that goes on to other rooms I'm not quite sure yet but at the end of this I, I think I think at the very end of this I want to have my master bedroom because I have yet to build that really I've only had the area up at the very top um, with my bed in it this entire Let's Play. And that is not a good enough setup. So what I'm probably going to do is have like my bedroom back here, possibly another one of those hidden storage rooms in it. Um, and then these hallways that branch off here will probably lead to some places like let's say for example a, mon a melon slash pumpkin farm on one side and a tree farm on the other side um, you know basic things like that that I have yet to build that would make great additions to this world so what I did here was I just dug a four wide doorway slash hallway and I used pine wood for the frame here as long as well as the uh, upper part up here. The roof, the ceiling right here, is made up of jungle wood that's just taken from the jungle trees. 
these leaves right here, I think these are the ones I want to go with. These are the uh, regular oak leaves. I have some different ones here to choose from, so you guys can leave a comment to tell me which one you like the best. So let me see. Okay. Let me get rid of these and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These right here are the jungle leaves. And they look pretty good. Um, I've seen better, I think. They're not my favorite. And here are the pine the pine uh, leaves from the pine trees. So I was thinking I haven't tried the birch leaves yet. Maybe they're maybe they're different, but I was thinking that some of these leaves would be transparent as in the, as in the fact that you could see through them literally. Um, they're always transparent because you can tell by the light levels how they're 11. They're always 11. So if I were to for instance take dirt and use the dirt instead. Watch this. See how the light level is now 10? That's because no light is coming through on this left side over here, which is not what we want. So, let's see. I think for now, I'm just going to keep it with the, uh, the oak leaves. And I might change it in the future. But anyways, that's what I've been up to lately. Back to uh, reality and why it's been keeping me from making videos. As, uh, oh, there we go. As many of you, hopefully all of you would know, um, this week has been, uh, this week is was Easter week. So, um, we have had a lot of... My family and I have had a lot of uh, things going on, activities to do with the family this week, and so we have we have been doing nothing but Easter activities, and so I've had to put Minecraft on hold for a couple days, but that's okay. We're back, and we're making videos. Okay, so let me go, I'm kind of just doing some basic cleanup right now. I had to set up a temporary pumpkin farm just to get enough jack-o'-lanterns to do the floor lighting. Um, you can see that I use one water block to power or to moisten hydrate. That's the right word. To hydrate all of these, all eight of these blocks. That's because water will hydrate up to four blocks away um, in, in all directions. So even though this one is a diagonal, it's still four blocks away, according to the, the algorithm that they use to determine how far water hydrates. That's a little complicated, but suffice it to say, that one gets hydrated just as much as this one gets hydrated. Okay, so let's see, what can we do? Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. I found... Um, yeah, I think we're well enough prepared. I found a uh, skeleton spawner that I had completely forgotten about. I apparently found it probably back in my third or fourth episode off camera. And I had completely forgotten about it, but let me show you how close it really is to everything else. So if we just go down this way, and the reason I mention a skeleton spawner is because since I've been growing trees, oh, see, there you go. That's not a zo I meant to write skeleton, but I wrote zombie there. Anyways, since I've been using all these trees and growing them, I've uh, had to go and farm for bone meal. And I don't have a spawner, a mob spawner set up yet for the skeleton spawner. So I've had to do it the long way of just running around at night and finding bone meal. But you can see that this spawner is very close and it's not very far away and it would not be hard at all to set up for a sp another spawner so I'm probably going to set it up just like the other one um, just a simple design that'll let me get what I need out of it which is bone meal this one would not really be for XP because I need it for bone meal instead and why am I farming this coal right here because 
can't have enough coal. I'm learning that as I continue to play this game, that you cannot have enough coal. Okay, enough of that. Now, uh, let me see. Okay, so I wanted to show you um, my design for roads that I want to do on the outside, down in the mountain village that I'm making. And l tell me what you think about them. I think it'll look pretty cool because I don't see a lot of people doing uh, diagonal roads. And so the way that I have it set up, I have a decent pattern laid out for diagonal roads. And let me see, I'm going to need some some blocks to go building with. So let me go grab a few... Where are they? There we go. Well, that's not near enough. I'll just grab... How many do I need? One, two, three. Yeah, that's probably enough. Okay. So let's go to the surface. Okay. Now, for the middle of this big area right here, I'm thinking I'll put like a lava fountain or a water fountain with glowstone. I don't know, something like that, because I don't want just trees in the middle. I don't think that'll look cool. Because remember, I'm also going to have a uh, like an underground lake. And I'm still going to do my hidden piston door. I haven't forgotten about that. I just had to put it on hold, because more important things have come up. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hold on. So, I have an idea for another type of video, not just a Let's Play video that I'm going to do. And I don't know if uh, you guys have seen what's been going on with uh, the challenge type videos lately. But Etho put up a video, and I'll link it in the description, in the description, for a challenge video to where you have to collect all of the companions in Minecraft in 30 minutes or less. So you have to collect a snow gall a snow man, an iron golem, a ocelot, and a dog, or a wolf. And you have to collect all those in 30 minutes. And they have to be in one area. So um, he seemed to have a lot of fun with it and I've seen a lot of or a couple other people doing the same thing. So I thought I'd give a shot at it and try my luck. So look forward to that coming up soon. I'll try and get it out before too long. Okay, so right now I have cobblestone and sand, s sandstone slabs for this design. Um, this is what I'm thinking for diagonal roads. And when I say where these would go, let me get down here and I'll show you. Where these would go would be in places such as over there, right where I'm pointing, to go from this area to that area would look really good with a diagonal road, I think. So I'm going to try and use this design for the diagonal roads because I think it would look pretty good, pretty slick. And, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to incorporate the curb on a diagonal road. It's really easy with a straight road because you just have stairs. So the way that I did it was just a half slab on one row here, and then a full block on the other row, which would still let you step out of it like a curb. So I think that'll work out nicely. Um, let me show you how the straight roads will look. Let me go craft up some sandstone slabs real quick. Okay. Okay, let's go throw these down and see how they look. And I went through all the other uh, options as far as uh, slabs and curbs go. And these seem to look the best to me. Let's see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there we go. And we'll jump up here a little bit. Okay, so tell me what you think about that. I think it, I think it's going to look pretty cool. It's going to 
there's enough contrast between the main part of the road and the curb to where it'll stand out just on the horizon, I think. So, let me know what you think about that. We're going to start laying those down eventually for our village. And I think that's going to look really nice. It's going to go pretty well with, with our, our design choices here. So I'm trying something. I don't think this will work, but I'm doing a little experiment to where if I strip a tree of all its leaves except a ring around the very top, will the leaves grow back? So far, nothing, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out later if they do. And excuse me while I take a drink of water. Ah, oh, much better. Much, much, much better. Okay, so let's get to work on building oop, building a tree farm. I know that's probably the most oh exciting thing you can think to do in Minecraft. But actually, no, let's don't build a tree farm. Let's build our piston door. I forgot how to make it work. Can we do that? I might have to modify it a lot because of how close it is over here. No, you know what? Let's hold off on that. I'll, I haven't done enough planning on that to get it to work right properly. Okay. Tree farm. Let's see. So I added um, some glowstone. You can't really see it. Blast. Let's see if we can see it from up here. See the glowstone in the waterfall that I added? I think it is a nice addition. It gives a little ambient light that comes through the water a little bit. So it looks kind of nice. Oh, I know one thing I was going to do. Um, I originally had upside down half slabs right here, but I found that that was not going to work for me because I wanted to use fence posts to kind of give the illusion that uh, give the illusion of railing. So I was either going to do this or let me see if I can't show you. I'll just show you. Let me sh let me show something to you. Okay. I was either going to do that or something like this. Where we have support beams underneath like that. And then behind that we could put more jack-o'-lanterns. Or glowstone, one or the other. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of like, I kind of like the rail. No wait. No, I don't like the rails. And I'll tell you why. I don't like the rails because they are the exact same texture as, or the color as the actual wood uh, planks, and I don't like that. Good. I'm glad I, I'm glad I talked this out with you guys because that was bugging me earlier. I could not figure out which way I wanted to go with. And I actually don't think I like that that much. Let me try the jungle wood, see if that looks better. It has more of a mossy kind of look to it. Which uh, kind of blends. with the, uh, the other wooden planks there. And you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Do I have any... I have regular wood. Let me try regular wood. Okay. Let's see here. How many of those do I, will I need? Oh no. no. That's okay. Hmm. 
That's pretty good too. Dang it. Well, oh wait a minute. I'm having a thought. Okay, watch this. Watch this and be amazed. Maybe not amazed. Just watch this and, and tell me what you think. Uh, let's go back with the dark wood. Just a like a so. Oh, crap. No. Not like so. Oh, I'm so prepared. You Can't you tell? Let's do it up here. Like this. Yes, yes, yes. And you might be wondering why I'm still using stone tools. Well, I had some iron ones, but I've already gone through them, and I just haven't crafted more yet. So, I'm coming out of the Stone Age, slowly. I just haven't made it yet. Yes, that looks very nice. Now, ooh, watch this. Another idea. If I could just make it up. Okay, let's use our fence posts as railing. Let's see how that looks. Aha, uh -huh. I like that. That's definitely what we're going with. I like that a lot, guys. So, I don't need this anymore. Dang it! I shouldn't have done that. Okay, now I can do it. There. Okay, so I like that a lot. We're definitely going to keep that. Kind of makes me want to change the texture of the bridge, though. Hmm. Does anybody know whenever they're going to update the mine Minecraft to where you can craft different colored half slabs? from the different colored wooden planks because I could have sworn it was going to be this update but apparently not so anyways that's what we're going to go with that way we kind of incorporate all or three of the four different colored wooden slab wooden planks in the game okay let's uh, do a little bit more work here grab some pumpkins and then we'll get started digging out an area for our tree farm. Because we don't want to forget about that. Okay. Now. Those, those. And. Oh, crap. Is it these? Or these? It's definitely not these. Okay. So, where are we at? Right there. Again, I'm using these dirt blocks as markers for where the uh, cross sections are going to go. Let's see. Dirt, dirt, dirt. There we go. Okay. So, I think I want to make... I need, I need a lot of room for the tree farm. So, jeez, um, I really have no idea how big an area, how much room I have out this way, because I think I'm going to hit the outside at this, at this Y level. Oh, I didn't even realize. Wow, <laughs> I've gone this whole episode with Shift F3 on, and I did not even realize it. Wow. Okay, so I'm at level 59, and I'm pretty sure that's still above the water line outside so maybe I could have this go all the way to the outside and then have some kind of cool entrance from the outside that would be pretty cool so okay let's just start digging what the heck I don't know how yet I want to uh, make the floors for now, I'm just going to do that. And I'm probably going to cut most of this out because it's just going to be me digging up an area. And uh, I'm sure you guys don't really want to see that because it's not exciting. But I'll dig a little bit here just to s get started with you guys. So, um, 
many of you, well, some of you may know that, uh, let's see, I uh, also play Guild Wars. Wonderful game that it is. And um, I have had the privilege and the honor to play with uh, a guy named guy that goes by the name of Sambo. He is a New Zealander. And uh, if any of you do not know about New Zealand time, it is much different than American time. So any time that I get to play with him on his show, on his Let's Play, it's always extremely early in the morning. I'm talking like 4 o'clock early in the morning. So I don't often get to go on there just because of logistics. And I, you know, I have to work, and they record during the week, and so I, uh, I have to either make a special effort and just suck it up, or I'll have to, I have usually have to wait until there's a, a holiday and I don't have to go to work on that day. But anyways, he just got uh, a Machinima.com partnership for his channel, and that is uh, very exciting news. If you guys don't know about Machinima.com, they are uh, huge in the video game industry as far as um, presenting presenting new games to the public and uh, reporting on new games and featuring new games and videos and all kinds of things that you know I don't I don't even know everything that they do but they are huge so congrats to him I'm going to link his channel in the description um, you guys should go pay him a visit tell him I sent you um, he would really appreciate that guys he's got a lot of great content he plays um, a ton of games he plays Let's see, he's got a Let's Play on World of Warcraft, a Let's Play on Guild Wars, Rift, uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, DC Universe Online. Uh, I think he has a few more also, but man, he has a ton of movies, a ton of videos out. And he's very, very nice guy, and, uh, great to get along with. And go say hi, subscribe to him if you like his stuff, his videos, and um, tell him I sent you. There's my shameless plug for the week. <laughs> uh, I tell you guys I have not been doing this for very long making these videos so please forgive me but talking to myself while playing a video game is still kind of weird not gonna lie but let's see okay I think I'm gonna cut it here and dig out some more area so we can have a good good sized tree farm and this is, I'm not going to do the whole thing tonight because I'm going to have rows and rows for each of the four trees. So I won't be able to do it all tonight in one episode, but we'll check it back in on it. We'll check back in on it frequently to see how the progress is. But anyways, I'm going to cut it right here and I'll check back with you whenever I have some more dugout. So here we go. Okay, guys, let's take a look at what we've done so far dug out quite a bit now and it's not quite working the way that I want it to yet I haven't quite got the hang of this tree growing thing down sometimes the the trees don't want to grow whenever I want them to but that's okay we'll get it to work so uh, for now I'm not gonna plant birch trees just because I don't ever use the birch trees so I'm going to use jungle oak and pine trees primarily so that's what mo that's what this tree farm is mainly going to produce for me. Now I'm going to have uh, a walkway right here going all the way outside. I think I think that's going to work out nice. Um, we'll let you know in the future. But uh, for now, I'm attempting to cap off the height of the trees with jack o' lanterns, and then for the pine trees, I'm just using the ceiling as the the height capper. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I'm going to have some cool decorations around these, like uh, I'll put dirt on the ground here. Not at the same height, but in the ground. And then I'll plant some flowers and stuff around them. Um, should make it look pretty nice. But I'll pretty that up off camera and show you guys in the next episode like I did with the mob spawner. So anyways, guys, I just want to thank you for stopping by joining us on this video and we will see you next time where we, we we will be building an enchanting room 
because even though I was using a diamond pick for this, it still took way too long. So we're going to move on to enchant enchanting room next. And I want to thank you for stopping by again. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.